The biggest challenge we got when we started was like animation. I mean, everybody has been raving about our animations on the first one. We've been pushing the boundaries even further, like on, on Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. And we're like, okay, that's great, but how are we gonna make that work online? I remember I got really excited uh, when I got on my monitor, like two drakes running around. I called everyone in the office, say, hey guys, come on, come on over. Let's, and like everybody like saw right away the potential. We were like, okay, that's huge. We spent a lot of time working on our technology to just bring animations across the network so that you can see the other players at the same quality you would see just like NPCs or enemies in the game. Now we have all the fluid animations, all the climbing, all the jumping, you know, all the special moves are all in the game, which is, which is really awesome. We really push the boundaries, we try new things nobody tried before. Everything that we do in single player shows up in multiplayer. You can see player movement as detailed as possible, like you will see them if they were like next to you. So when we try to work online, we also want to make sure the experience for the player would be just as simple as it is when you play single player. So you hit start, you start the game, you play. I can very quickly jump online, hit our matchmaking system. There's no waiting around, there's no nothing. I'm pushing a button, I'm in the game. I'm finding people of like skill, so it's you know, bouncing me up and down and putting me into the right level so I know that every game I play is going to be fun. You know, I'm going to be constantly challenged, but it's not going to be too hard. Also, something that's very important is be able to play with your friends, and that's why we create our party system. If I have a bunch of friends online, I can very easily invite them to join my party. I can see them in their party, uh, jump in with them with one button press. So that if you go and make a custom game, they're going to play that custom game with you. If you go in matchmaking, they're going to come and, and be in your team and just and follow you in your matchmaking. So that's. That, that's key because a lot of people want to play with their friends too, their friends too. It's just, it's super important like to be able just to chat with your friends and make fun of them sometimes if they die and stuff like that. We made it like really extremely easy. So uh, I'm sure people are going to use that feature a lot. In the cinema mode, we record the games that you've played. So you can go back and watch games that you've played before and see you know, what exactly you did the last game you played. We saved your games when you play them. You can replay them. Uh, just fast forward, pause the game, uh, stop, freeze everything, move the camera around and just look at what's going on, where, where everybody is. And uh, you can take screenshots and so that you can then show off to your friends. And also you can use it to see how other players are playing. So like if a guy was really good in the other team or, or in your team, you can just replay the file and just follow him and see how he did it. What was his like tactic like, just to, to be so good? What, what is he doing? Because everybody has a unique technique. Even if you're playing by yourself, you're gonna call your, fr your wife over, your kids, your friends in the house and say, look at this, look at this awesome thing that happened and sort of gets more people involved. You know, you can go through and sort of give yourself a best of reel, which is really, really neat. The great thing about the PlayStation 3 that I love is the fact that there's a hard drive and that's um, on every single machine and that's like priceless for us. So cinema mode like, uh, was very easy because we can save your cinema files to your hard drive very easily and also uh, we're having some technology uh, using the cloud uh, where we can like save the files, uh, your cinema files to the cloud so that when you want to share it with your friends, your friends will be able just to get it from the cloud and download it to their own PS3, to their hard drive. Ultimately, statistics are sort of the, the rawest form the game takes. So as a designer um, and as a player, it's important that we're able to see those things so we know where the game is unbalanced. Uh, I would never be able to make the game fair if I couldn't tell what the statistics were for any given map in any given mode. We have to be creative because PSN is free and I love that. It's, it, it's the fact like people can just play online games for free at any time and that's huge. And it's, it's good because it, like, it forced us just to find new ways to store that data. And that's why we started to work on the, uh, the cloud technology. Things that I thought were cool maybe didn't work. Maybe there was too many deaths there. Maybe, there were no, maybe nobody ever went there. Uh, those kind of things were very, very easy for me to see because we did track so many statistics all the way along. The stats are like the, the, the biggest thing for, for the players. They want like to, to know how they're doing. We have competitions going on and they want to be able just to go on the website and just look at the results of the game and take the result of the game and be able just to define who, who's winning the tournament. One of the best features of Uncharted 2 is the uh, ability for us to live update the game, which means we don't have to patch. Uh, it's completely transparent to the player. 
Every time you start the game, you go on multiplayer here at the bottom, we're gonna just, you're gonna connect to our servers and you're gonna sync the latest data. And it's completely transparent, it takes no time, so that if we see there's a big advantage point on the map that we need to fix, we can do that. We can do that without people knowing about it. And it's good because it makes the experience better for everyone. It, the game has to be fair and that's very important. If we wanna update models in the game, uh, it's very, very easy for us to do that. If we want to update game modes or even just tweaking numbers uh, having to do with the explosive damage, let's say, or the, the damage of the guns, if we find that something's overpowered or in the wrong place even, we can update all those things. We want to be able just to, be able just to keep pushing new things to the players uh, even after we ship. And uh, that was a, a big part of our, our technology too. And we're using the cloud for that too, where we store all our files just that you need to update on the cloud. And uh, again, it's all free and it's all good.